Hey, what's happening guys? Mike Moo here. In this video, I'm gonna talk about this new product that I went ahead and found online during this pandemic. And this is called the Hometics Multipurpose Cleaner. This is a three-in-one multi-purpose surface cleaner and sanitizer and deodorizer. And I think this is something that you should really consider because this is something that is super relatively cheap. Okay, I'm gonna say it's about $60 uh, when I got it and it's probably gonna be around that price for a little bit uh, longer too. Now what's amazing about this is that it is relatively safe compared to other disinfectants and cleaners. All you have to do is add water and through science, it creates a little uh, O3 water, um, basically ozone based type of water. So scientifically what this will do is go ahead and uh, do kill up to 99.99% of viruses and bacteria. So if you are using this spray uh, to go ahead and clean off stuff on surfaces, on food, and uh, basically for use in the kitchen or even on the go or even on your hands, this is the safest thing that you could possibly use because it is basically just water. In fact, after you create an ozone out of this, it will just basically turn into water after 30 minutes or so. So basically it's good for up to about 30 minutes. Now let's see, there's a little bit of information about how to use it. Now, full disclosure, I purchased this myself. Uh, Hometics did not contact me about this at all. This is something that I was interested in finding again because I did purchase one of these ozone type devices. It worked out pretty well, uh, but uh, it eventually died and it was a whopping 300 some dollars. So it looks like it's really easy to set up. You just basically fill the tank with tap water to two minutes or four minute water line, screw on, secure the sprayer cap, place on the base and plug in and press the power button, press desired generation time button and illuminate green and begin a bubble light and will turn blue when complete. Uh, so it looks like it's very easy to use and looks like it says that I got it for best results, use it within 30 minutes. And that's because in this unstable state of, uh, of the creation of the ozone type water, it will only last about 30 minutes maximum. So I re really generally say, hey, just create it and use up the entire spray in about 20 minutes. And if not, you can just stick it back onto the base and gener generate it again. Now looking at this, this is a much more simpler device compared to something that I've owned in the past. And maybe, you know, that accounts for the cheaper price. It looks like you got some electrodes over here, which then needs to go ahead and power up this part in here to do that chemical reaction to create the ozone uh, in here. Now this ozone is probably, for me at least, it didn't irritate me at all. And um, I even went so far in the past, again, not this one, I'm just speaking of, of my previous experience with, with the ozone water. If you, after you create the ozone, you can definitely smell it in there. And if you put your nose on there, you can definitely smell it. And it does not bother me in the least. It definitely does have one of those sanitization type of smells, but that goes away, All right? This is not a permanent type of thing. It'll do what it needs to do and basically turn back into water. And that's the best part about this is that it is not going to harm you and give you any long-term effects after it's done its job. All right, so looking inside here, it looks like we've got the basic base station. Also very simply designed, as you can see, uh, completely wireless. Basically the three electro paths on the bottom just connect over here and you got the on off and then two minute or four minute. I believe when you do the four minute, it's a bit, well, I'm guessing that it, right here. So the two minute, if you fill up the water here, then you press the two minute. If you do it all the way up to here, you need four minutes to get up that much more. Now there's not a whole, it doesn't generate a whole lot. And the, I guess that's perfect because if you're using it uh, relatively casually, you're not using like industrial application uh, for like, like a big giant tank walking around a hotel to go ahead and try to uh, kill off all the germs. It makes perfect sense to have, thing this, have something this small. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in and generate some, uh, some ozone water now. All right, so I'm back. I filled it with some tap water and it is basically up to the two minute mark. 
I also plugged the in. The power cord is roughly about five to six feet. I didn't completely measure it, but it felt like it was enough. Uh, it is an AC adapter plug, of course. I'm gonna go ahead and just press this button here. As you can hear, you could hear a little beep. Now, notice that this bends over a little bit. I guess the stability of this could have been better designed, but it is what it is. So, I press that on there, I press the two minute mark, and it is, oh, look at that. If you look, if you can look really closely at it, look at it, it is generating something right there. If you look really close, let's zoom in a little bit here. Get a little bit of that and turn down the brightness and you can kind of see that it is generating really rapidly and really quickly and I might add relatively quietly compared to uh, my last experience with an ozone type of uh, device. So you can see it's really bubbling up and it's going pretty quickly uh, to produce in two minutes. So you can definitely see the results there and later on I will be able to smell it as well coming through. Now I do want to say a couple of things about this as it's, it's generating it. Uh, my impressions is that this section right here, this section right here feels pretty solid, pretty well built, okay? Um, but uh, the spray section up here, the spray bottle itself up here and um, closing this up, you want to be a little bit more gentle with it. It felt like, uh, you know, you, you got to cut some corners somewhere and I felt like there were a few corners cut. Uh, but overall, I, I got to say this looks like a really nice, like fancy type of water bottle. Clearly, it produces the ozone really rapidly and really quickly. Okay, look at that. That's O3 working right there. Okay, ozone water. And yeah, that looks pretty darn potent for what it's supposed to do. Now you might ask, well, Mike, what's the ideal scenario and use for this? How can we test it to figure out it's working out well? How do we know when it kills bacteria and all that? Well, um, you could do a couple of tests, basically. Uh, one of them is why well, you can take science's word for it, or you can just literally, I think some examples of something like this would be, you know, this will remove or help to mask a lot of the smells around the house. All right, you spray it on, let's say, let's spray, let's say spray it on some dirty uh, socks or pour it on top of a dirty sponge or something and it basically kill the bacteria, thus eliminating a lot of the smells. And, you know, you could, you could just, um, actually, if you just open this up, if I just open this up right now and I smell it, I can definitely smell the ozone. And this is what, what's being used in a lot of hospitals. Oh, yeah. I smell it all right. And, um, you know, it's, it's for sure uh, the, the type of ozone water. Now, one of the things that I also do is instead of using just hy hydrogen peroxide, um, you can actually, even though it's not advised, and I'm not going to advise this because certain people... Uh, feel that it is um, have different responses to ozone water is uh, I used to use mine uh, as a mouthwash okay so I used to pour you know a little bit in a cup squiggle around my mouth and spit it back out you know that tastes a lot better than hydrogen peroxide uh, but I'll spray this on toothpastes toothbrushes Basically anywhere, even on your phones, if you are out and you don't have access to UV light, you don't want to leave your, your phone in UV uh, for a period of time, those are some pretty good use cases for it. I'm going to go ahead and test the spray. Okay. It's, it's a pretty decent mist, all right? You're going to have to want to get relatively close to the item, and you probably want to go ahead and drench it with the ozone water uh, right off the bat in order to ensure the best possible uh, outcome and efficiency of the unit itself is you need to drench it with the ozone water for it to go ahead and kill off the bacteria and the viruses by oxidizing them. All right, so, uh, well, that's it. I just wanted to share this with you. This is something new. This is not something that... Um, that they reached out to me for and constantly looking for ways to be a little bit more healthier and you know help to prevent virus spread and this is something that you could easily go ahead and try out it's only sixty dollars if you're interested in this please check out my link down below and uh yeah i'd appreciate it now catch you in the next one thanks for watching